What's going on, Sheepdogs? Fresh here, 221B Tactical. Today, I want to tell you about our ballistic backpack. Some of you call it the bulletproof backpack. We call it our assault pack. And I want to go over some of the features today that some of you have some questions about. Now, I've done videos in the past about all the features of the bag as far as the pockets and the storage, and I'm not gonna bore you with a video like that, but I'm gonna actually show you some of the things today in this video in particular about the bag that I see that most of you have questions about. So I'm gonna start with the add-on storage, and then I'm gonna get into the bulletproof backpack, uh, let me say, features of it that give you that ballistic protection. So, uh, of course, all of you know that there is no such thing as bulletproof when it comes to body armor. All body armor can be penetrated at some point. So, it's not really bulletproof. The proper terminology is bullet resistant. It's bullet resistant based on where it's graded with the NIJ ratings. Uh, the panel you're gonna see in a little bit is a NIJ level 3A. So, we're gonna get into that in a second, but just so you know, a lot of you call this the bulletproof backpack, and just wanna make sure we're using the right terminology here. It's bullet resistant. Okay, so now let's get into it. So the backpack, the assault pack, as you see it here, is with our four add-on pouches. Now the pack usually comes without these four. This one, two, three, four. Excuse the dog hair, I got a Belgian Malinois. It's impossible to keep dog hair not on everything in your life, especially stuff that's black. So these pouches add on, they're available for purchase. And so you get the bag with just this, but when you add these four pouches on that go on with Molly, they tear off very quickly if you need something. And they're great for if you want med kit gear or whatever it is that you maybe you want quick access to that you don't want to have to take the whole bag with you. So whatever it is that falls in that category, you can put here. And it's great for when you're traveling Traveling, you can put cords, chargers, uh, I can get, you know, toiletries in some of these little side bags. So I've been able to take this bag not only on an airplane, but actually on some longer trips and you have that add-on features. And in, in addition to all the other storage that thing, this thing has, which it expands and all that, you guys know all that. But that was something that a lot of people had questions about that I wanted to answer for you in this video. When you say, can we get more storage when it comes to this bag? Yeah, you can add those on. And like I said, we'll throw the link in there as well so you guys can see how you can add those on. Now, the bag does come with one on the strap here. And what's that for? Well. I hate when I'm wearing a backpack and traditional backpacks you have on and you don't have this here, you just have your straps and then you need something. You need something little that is maybe in the actual, your actual backpack. So what do you have to do? What's your passport, your ID, whatever it might be, what do you have to do? You have to now, if you're at the airport, you're at a restaurant, whatever, and I don't like stuff in my pockets. You guys know that I've talked about that a ton. I like to keep my pockets clear. So what do I have to do? I gotta now take my backpack off, put it down, and access one of these pockets here, and then go ahead and zip this up, and then put it back. Okay, so I wanted something quick access, something easy that I don't have to worry about, you know, fiddling around with that. So I just added this little pouch here, and it's great quick access pouch. A lot of you say, what is that pouch for? That's exactly what it's for. Now this one has, you see some elastic straps on the inside to help keep your gear organized, whatever it might be that you wanna keep in here. I don't care what you keep in here. That's none of my business. It's there for you to keep whatever you need to keep quick access to so you don't have to take the whole bag off every single time. Now, as you just saw, the bag can be worn as a backpack, but another great feature that some of you completely miss is the bag can actually be converted into a crosswear bag, meaning like across your chest. Some people call it a sling bag. Some people call it messenger style carry. I don't care what you choose to call it. I just wanna know that this bag can be worn like that. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So on the back, you have these straps and these straps unclip with basic side release clips right here. So you undo them and now you're left with this and you undo this and you, now you're left with this. So what I do is I just cross it over and I hide the other strap away. And that's what it's designed to do. Because sometimes I like wearing it as a backpack, but there's a lot of times I like to wear it as a sling bag and have it, or a sling pack, whatever you want to call it. And I like to wear it in that style, depending on what I'm doing. And what I'll do is I'll just take the one that I don't want, I'll tuck it away in this nice pouch 
very convenient. So I'll tuck that away, and now I just take this strap from here and cross it on the angle to this lower strap over here, and you'll see how that works just like this. And now the lower strap that the other one was tied to, there's a little slot right here that you could slip it in, and I just kind of cinch it down and stuck it in, stick it into that slot. I'm gonna bring it up here so you guys can see that I'm sticking it into this slot right here, and you'll see it just tuck all the way away, and you see it's gone. Oh, a little bit left. I'm gonna keep tucking. There you go. So now it's gone. There, stays in there, it's not gonna come out. So now, what do you have? You have the strap from here attached to the strap that was down here, okay? So now all you do is take it, put it across, make sure I don't knock my mic off and lose my audio, and there you go. So now you can wear it as a sling pack and I, like I said, there's a lot of times when I'm just kind of doing like day-to-day -day stuff. I wanna make sure I have this uh, uh, not twisted so it's proper for the video. Um, yep. No one wants a twisted strap. And you cinch this down and there you go. So like I said, there's a lot of times that I just don't wanna wear it as a backpack. It's just not comfortable going to the beach or something. And now if you wanna sling this around, you have the ability to sling it around, access whatever it is that you may need, and you can just sling it back. There you go, like that. Now what I like to do when I wear it as a sling is that little pouch that was on the other backpack strap, I like to transfer that over and you could actually transfer it over with the webbing here. That way I have that strap here, that pouch here as well. So once again, if I need to get something smaller, fast access, I don't need to do this and bring it around and go ahead and rummage around in here. It just, it stays right here, that pouch stays right here and I can access it very quickly. If you wanna take this chest strap off that obviously when you have both backpacks on, you go across, you can take this off and just tuck it away in the bag very easily. So that's the convenience of now wearing the bag in the sling style, if you would. Now, if you prefer to wear it the sling the other direction, all you gotta do is just do the straps in the opposite direction. Tuck this strap away, bring the other strap out and cross buckle it just like I did. You just reverse it and that's it. It's super simple because I know some of you just like it where, you know, the other way. Some of you are lefties, so up to you. Now, of course, the feature of the Ultimate Assault Pack that you guys love is the hidden compartment to access a CCW, which when you bring this bag around like this, this pouch here on the bottom, you see this is rare earth magnets and the rare earth magnets open up and you can access whatever you want in there. You can keep Twinkies, you can keep whatever you want in there for your self-defense needs. We're not gonna tell you what to keep in there, but it's a family-oriented video. So you know you can access that pouch, whatever it is you need, you can just break the, those magnets silently, no Velcro, no zipper, no nothing. It just silently breaks and you can get into that pouch for whatever it is you need and then you can bring it back around. Now. Let's talk about the feature that some of you have been obsessed with with this bag as far as the, the bulletproof version or the ballistic version like we talked about. Now, this bag has the capacity to hold a level 3A panel, just like this. This is a soft, flexible level 3A panel. It's gonna be rated to stop 9, 40, 45, 44 Magnum. You can look up NIJ06 level 3A and it'll give you all the ballistics that this panel is rated to stop. This actually the panel stops a little bit more, but that goes right in here. And obviously you see it fits perfectly with the size of this pack. Now, you close it up and you have it slung over just know that when you sling this bag around, I'm gonna cut, bring this strap to where I would wear it. Now, when you sling this bag around to maybe access your Kit Kat bar, or whatever it may be, and you're getting attacked, know that you can now bring this around and you can, if you want, cinch it up. And now you have ballistic armor in front of your vital organs, obviously your heart, and you wanna protect that. And you can now draw your Snickers bar and you could have this here 
if you if need be now of course it's also good for a knife attack someone's coming at you with a blade a knife that panel is dual threat it's dual rated so it's going to give you some stab protection as well so you have that ability to block a knife that's coming at you whatever it may be and give you know give a little bit of resistance and maybe get to safety it gives you just that little bit of, even if it gives you half a second or a second to quickly block a knife blow or someone tries to you know shank you like this you know come like here take it and then run away whatever it may be so you know you have that ability right there and of course if you have something hidden in here maybe you could return the favor just saying if you so choose to do so so that's the whole premise of the ultimate assault pack and that's the ballistic or let me say bulletproof for those of you who call it bulletproof uh, uh, aspect of the bag that so many of you ask about guys i hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the ultimate assault pack uh, you guys call it like i said the bulletproof backpack the ballistic backpack whatever you want to call it i hope you enjoyed these feature overviews that some of you have kind of maybe missed or didn't know or had questions about. I always like to do these videos to answer your questions. And of course, our sales team is there 24 seven. So if you have any other questions about it, I know you guys see some people on social media using it, posting about it, guys, UFC people, things like that. So just it, whatever questions you might have, if you can't find the answer on the website or it wasn't answered in this video, make sure you email our sales team at sales at 221btactical.com. They're there 24 seven to answer any of your questions. And if you're looking uh, at an agency purchase, you're looking at a bulk order or you're a distributor and you want to distribute these, sell these in your store, go ahead and give us a call. Our team is there around the clock to help take care of you and answer your sales and your bulk order questions and needs. Like I said, guys, lots of cool features on this bag that you guys have been asking about. Love doing these videos for you. Let me know in the comments if you have questions about something I talked about today or something else or a feature that you would like to see maybe added. Maybe it's there. You just didn't talk about it today. So let me know. We're here for you. Guys, thanks for watching. And remember, no matter what kind of gear you're carrying, always watch their hands, watch your six, and get home safe. We'll see you next time.